5 Crazy Ways Johnny Depp Blew His Fortune The phenomenal actor of Pirates of the Caribbean, Johnny Depp, has suffered a lot for quite a few years. Even when Amber Heard wasn't in his life, he has still faced maximized perusal of his personal life. According to the reports, Johnny Depp lost around $650 million, nearly half of his entire fortune, and fans think that he is surely going to get broke anytime soon. But who knows if he can come up with another rocking movie like Pirates of the Caribbean that makes him rich again. As we said, who knows? Hello everyone and welcome to another video on our channel. In today's video, we'll dive deeper into Johnny Depp's life and find out how he blew his millions of dollars. Yeah, you heard it right, so let's start our video. Costly Separation from Vanessa Paradise Mr. Depp's separations have been costly. Before Amber Heard, there was Vanessa Paradise, mother of their two children and partner for 14 years. When they finally split amicably back in 2012, Johnny agreed to a massive settlement of over $125 million. But that figure was a relief for Mr. Depp since he and Vanessa were not married. If that had been the case, Vanessa would have been entitled to half of whatever money Depp brought in during their marriage. And let's not forget alimony and child support. Not only this, but it's also reported that Johnny bought Vanessa a $4.5 million residence. Depp was acquiring real estate all over the place. Johnny Depp lost much of his liquidity to the ground. Ask any of those close to him and you'll get to know that he loved real estate while some may suggest it bordered on obsession. On top of the Kentucky farm and LA residence, Captain Jack Sparrow also had 13 other properties he called home. He has five houses in the Hollywood Hills worth approximately $19 million that he apparently wanted to connect by building an underground tunnel. Yep, that's right. And also at some point, he owned five penthouse lofts in LA before selling two of them. The three remaining ones go for a combined six and a half million dollars. So, do you think you've heard it all on Depp's real estate misadventures? Well, there's more. Mr. Depp also parted with a cool $5.35 million to get his name on the deed of a private island in the Bahamas. And to crown his real estate exploits, he splashed out $10 million to simply renovate a village-like compound in France that he purchased for an undisclosed amount of money. Poor choice of a management company. Another reason Captain Jack blew through his $650 million film fortune is simply a poor choice of a management company. During Depp's trial at London's Royal Courts of Justice, he alleged that the $650 million he had amassed from movies was gone. Thanks to financial mismanagement by the management group TMG run by Depp's longtime business manager Joel Mandel and his brother Robert, he went on to further reveal that he discovered his taxes had not been paid on his behalf for 17 years. This means he owed over $100 million in back taxes, but was not one to let millions slide. Depp actually sued TMG, accusing the brothers of negligence, breach of fiduciary duty, and fraud. And just to give you some detail, the suit cites that, among other things, under TMG's watch, Depp's sister Christy was given $7 million without his knowledge. And that's not all. His assistant Nathan Holmes was also given $750,000, again without Depp's knowledge. He's kept numerous staff members. Mr. Depp also had a huge team of staff members, which cost him a significant part of his $600,000. $150 million fortune. According to CNBC, TMG's lawsuit against the pirate claimed he had at least 40 full-time employees who set him back as much as $300,000 a month. However, in addition to that hefty figure, the captain also spent $150,000 a month on his family security and a further $200,000 monthly on private jet transport. But perhaps the most bizarre of all is the $1.2 million he parted with just to keep a doctor on call, though the figure is not exactly mentioned. It's alleged that Depp also spent significant money on a sound engineer who used to feed him lines during movie productions. Now, you must think there's no problem in taking care of your family members, right? But when you get overzealous, you could end up in a financial mess, and you can ask Mr. Depp for a word. Johnny Depp bought a farm in Lexington, Kentucky for his mom, but his sister, her husband, and a child made the property their home too. There's no confirmed reason behind this, but Depp went ahead to employ them to take care of things at the farm, which meant he was paying them out of his pocket. However, despite this obvious good deed, the family members ended up overdoing expenses and Johnny Depp still had to sort things out. Johnny's mom, Betty, was diagnosed with cancer in 2013. Following this, Johnny opted to rent her a $30,000 a month residence in LA to get her closer to her treatment. His mother soon got better and moved back to the Kentucky farm, but the lease on her LA home would continue to renew, further denting Depp's finances. 
Well, that's all for today's video. Tell us in the comment section how this video was. I hope that you found this one interesting. If you want to see more videos just like this one, then please consider subscribing for more. And don't forget to give comments and provide us with your valuable feedback. We'll see you in the next video with some more interesting celebrities, facts, and stories. And until then, stay tuned.